Another incident of excessive and lawless anti-epidemic measures has been reported in China. After cases of COVID-19 were found in a small neighborhood in Guangzhou City, all residents were forcibly sent to a hotel for quarantine. During the quarantine period, their homes were broken into by property and community officials who removed the locks and forced their entry. On the early morning of July 10th, more than 100 residents of two residential buildings were sent to a hotel for isolation. After receiving tips that residents were hiding in their homes, the four departments involved in the joint epidemic prevention effort, the CDC, the street office, the neighborhood association, and the police station, decided to break the locks on the doors of the 6 to 12 floors where the cases were confirmed. The online video shows that smashed locks were disposed of and lying on the ground, and some residents returned home after isolation only to find that the locks on their apartments had been smashed and the doors were sealed, forbidding any entry. The staff from the property management claimed that the purpose was first to disinfect each apartment and second to prevent residents from hiding in their homes and escaping the quarantine. They said they would help the homeowners replace the locks. A community police officer said, As a citizen, you should cooperate with the government during special times, and the locks can be replaced. Regarding forced entry and mandatory home disinfection, Article 27 of the CCP's Law on the Prevention and Control of Infectious Diseases stipulates several things. For sewage, garbage, places, and articles contaminated by pathogens of infectious diseases, relevant units and individuals must carry out strict disinfectant treatment under the guidance of disease prevention and control institutions or in accordance with other regulations. If disinfection treatment is rejected, the local health administrative department shall conduct mandatory disinfection. However, some residents emphasized that the households that were broken into and disinfected weren't contaminated by infectious pathogens. Neither does the prerequisite for mandatory entry exist, which is the refusal to disinfect. After the break-ins were exposed, they were criticized heavily by netizens. Some critics believe that breaking into people's homes is an illegal act, and that government employees don't seem to have the most basic sense of law. Chinese netizens have left various comments. It is extremely ridiculous. Is there still a law? The government's response seems so natural and justified. The joint decision. They made the decision without taking the law into consideration at all. There are also netizens who pointed out that the government has just announced that the COVID-19 virus doesn't survive more than one day on the surface of an object at room temperature, and there is no basis for breaking the door to disinfect. According to Radio Free Asia, a dissident from Guangzhou said, According to the past experience, in order to appease public anger, the authorities will pay out a little money to bribe some people and settle the matter. The matter will never be raised to the level of legality or criminality the authorities will use some money to put things to rest. It's considered over. Just scare them a little, those so-called good or obedient citizens. They will not react any more, and the matter will be resolved. In fact, there is a wide variety of mandatory vaccination measures around China. For example, residents of Beijing's Changping district revealed that the authorities require people to wear electronic bracelets during home quarantine. If we give him the bracelet, he has to wear it. And after the seven-day health test, it's over. This is not about whether you want to wear it or not. As long as we give it to you, you have to wear it. Changchun requires N95 masks for train rides. Lanzhou ordered 4.4 million residents to stay home from July 13th. The city of Wugong, a major steel center in central Hunan province, was completely locked down. On July 16th, Beihai, Guangxi Province imposed partial lockdowns on two areas that have a population of more than 800,000 residents. The list of cases like this goes on and on. <laughs>